What's up, y'all? JB here with Real Life Fitness. And you know what's up? We at the Jizzam today. And guess who I'm with, y'all? I'm with my boy, Slick Nick, in the house. What's up? What's good? Yeah, yeah. What's up, Nick? What you been up to, man? Man, so I ended up leaving, right? Like, I went on vacation. I helped a buddy of mine move mm -hmm. from fucking Michigan all the way to Connecticut and right. came back. Woo. Last time we worked, last time we did anything together was actually out working with Caleb. Uh, what video was that again? Man, look, man, that's the last time me and Nick worked out to, or did anything together, shot any videos, anything, was uh, when we worked out with bodybuilder Caleb Powers. A uh, heavy day with bodybuilder Caleb Power. Check out that video today, y'all. Uh, before we get in and working out, we're just going over some things with each other, and uh, we're gonna talk a lot about dieting. You know, uh, Nick uh, Nick knows a lot about dieting. You know, uh, I'm more free feel about dieting. You know, uh, so let's get into it. It really is. I'm more about like stats and statistics, where he's more about like intuition, like. You know, I don't have much energy, right? Yeah. I need to eat more carbs. Or, hey. Right. I feel like I'm losing some muscle definition. I need more protein. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Anything to get your energy back up. I mean, like I said, I'm basic. I don't have a healthology degree. I basically just experiment on myself. Trial and error. You know, uh, mm -hmm. some days I feel fluffy. Some days I feel real nice and tight. So I can tell when I got pretty much almost too much carbs in me too much good fats or bad fats compared to just a uh, good healthy eating and a uh, good protein the amount of protein that you need i can tell when i'm at my protein uh, limit too because i feel nice and tight you know what i'm saying when i feel fluffy i know i didn't overdid it on my carbs or sugars and stuff like that so i try to lay back off some of that stuff i go strictly off body feel the wonderful thing about going off body feel is really Hey, I know what may, well, I know what affects my body. I know what I can eat. I know what I shouldn't eat. I know what I can't eat, right? Right. So when you get into it, if you go strictly off the stats, the stats are cool and everything, but if you're not really applying those stats or the statistics, yeah. you can't really lose the weight or gain the weight. Right, right, right. What would you consider the word diet? When I hear diet, I think about people feeling like, hey, I need to only eat this or I need to only eat salads all day or stay away from everything you know that's bad for you fast food uh, pop sugars and candies and shit like that uh, and just strictly go on a diet they pick a diet to go off of and they like I'm a vegetarian or I'm a vegan or whatever the diet is out there that's what I think about when I when I hear dieting and in my personal opinion I don't think you need to go on any diet but what you think Nick what's, what's, your, what's your outlook on it See, I put diet very, uh, I put diet very synonymous with uh, lifestyle changes, right? Uh -huh. Because there are obtainable diets and unobtainable diets, right? Unobtainable diet is anything you try to do and you can't keep on. An obtainable diet is something that you make changes mm -hmm. to where it more fits your goals and your needs, right? Right. Because a lot of people, when they hear diet, which makes sense, is... I'm only eat, I'm only adjusting what I eat to lose weight, but I'm starting to see diet as I'm I'm adjusting what I eat to lose weight or gain weight. Depending, on what JB says he needs about 4k calories a day. That would kill me. Yeah, yeah. I'd be I'd hate you at that point. And, which, you, and you know what? It's weird because, and I know some people that eat once a day and looks fucking good. You know, uh, I eat about five to six times a day. And I manage my meals. I do meal prep and I do eat pretty clean, you know. Uh, but uh, I don't know, y'all. You know, it's all based on pretty much, you know, it's trial and error in my eyes. You got to just fuck with it and play with it. You got to eat certain stuff, see how you feel from it. You got to just apply it and you got to be able to stick to it. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Get into yourself, you know what I'm saying? Focus on yourself and go hard on working out. Go hard on the shit you need to be eating, dieting, or whatever it is that you're doing, y'all. Somebody you would normally work out with for once a week, right? Yeah. Somebody just keep motivating you and you guys can compare and shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes, sir. My man Nick, y'all. Hey, so we're going to cap it off at that. We're going to get our asses in the gym for a good leg and shoulders day, y'all. Uh, so we're going to do it. I know, me neither. 
but we're gonna go out here and we're gonna go in here and bust it out nick so uh we on our way in the gym y'all see you when we get in the gym let's get it y'all legs and shoulders today y'all about to bust it out remember while we in the middle of summer stay hydrated stay hydrated baby I'll grab my water stay hydrated y'all let's get it going like I said it's been a while since me and Nick got it in together so we're gonna get it today, y'all. You know, uh start with some fucking uh I don't know. What you think, Nick? Some fucking lunges or leg extensions. Fucking leg extensions. Nah, I got you. With those calves of yours, I got you. We got gonna do me. see the leg calves. Crazy. <laughs> see y'all when we get in the gym, y'all. Let's get it. <laughs> Legs and shoulders. We're gonna bang it out today, y'all. Go get a good warm up in. And we're gonna either start with a uh, hack squat, leg presses, or uh, dumbbell runs. Let's get it. That's your nuts, man. our first workout y'all we hitting glutes and our quads with this machine i don't know what's it called uh, but i know it really works your glutes and your, your quads your hammies all together man and it's humbling putting weight on this machine i mean you don't need no heavy weight i mean wow just try it out y'all you don't really we probably put a 35 or a 25 on here and it's gonna give us hell so uh we're gonna start with this and we're gonna superset it with hack squats y'all let's get it I like to like kind of hold my knees, touch on my knees. Ugh, it just uh, feels a little better. I feel that when the push up, like when I'm when I'm going down on it, and I'm holding my knees, I don't feel that much. But when I push on it, it feels like I got an like additional boost. Yeah. I do about five like that, and then I go up just a little higher. See my feet placement. Go up a little higher. Uh, and uh, that'll help too. Focus more on your glutes. See my quads working. And that's one you really gotta just kinda concentrate and focus on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and just take your time. Take your time, it's a good hit. It's on Nick. So you put it on the back? Yep. What about the front right here? I don't know. I need hip to it. You know what it might be? Yeah. 
Depending on where you have the weight at, right? Yeah. You have the weight right there. Uh-huh. Compared to here. So where it's at, it might be more of a counterweight type of system, right? Because uh -huh. we don't ever use this machine. Exactly. But it looks nice and it felt good. Yeah. So what that might be, that might be the counterweight to the glutes. Well, this is the counterweight for the quads. Oh, you might be right. We're going to try both. All right. So right now we got it at the back. I think you're right, Nick. Again, go back to the earlier conversation, trial and error. If you ain't never used something, don't go too heavy. Go light, see what it does first, get used to it, then you can go heavier. And you know what? I do feel it more in my glutes and my hams. Mm -hmm. But where your feet is, right, is on the glutes. And then it might have to be counterweighted. You might have to put another 25 on the front for your quads. Gonna do four? Yep, four. Ready? One. Two. Three. One more. Four. He ended up putting 25 on the front while he's got his feet on the quads. He's getting ready. Tell me if you feel the difference during it. I'm gonna count you down, all right? Yes, sir. Three, two, go. Everybody count it. One. Two, three, one more, four. So how'd you feel, did you feel the difference? I think I can, man. Woo, I think I can. I'm trying to hold my knees. I'm not trying to really support them too much. Like I'm pushing off of them, uh, but I'm trying to like hold them while I'm doing them. Just to put like, you know, a little compression on them. It's taking that pressure off my knees. You know, so that's why I'm kind of holding my knees. They're popping and everything while I'm doing that shit. So, going over the hack squats. Remember, we supersetting. So what's supersetting mean? Supersetting it keeps the workout intense, keeps you moving, and it helps build that muscle strength. I'm telling you, y'all. Try supersets. Let's get it. Skip legs, baby. We hit legs. How much weight you got on here? We got six plates on each side, right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Man, look at them muscle striations. Just in the bottom leg, lower legs. You know what's crazy about that though? That's my max. Hell nah. Well, it's Nick set. Let's get it.
you ready? Bro, fruit snacks, y'all. Has dextrose in it. A lot of bodybuilders use it uh, for carb up in the gym. Carbs and energy. Uh, don't eat too many. Maybe one or two. And it keep you steady throughout your workout session. Try it out. It works. Dextrose. Look it up, y'all. All right, y'all, so we done moved in the shoulders. Uh, we're doing shoulder military presses and we supersetting with side lateral raises and front lateral raises. All right, y'all, uh, we worked our way up to this weight, so we done did a couple warm-up sets. Uh, I'm gonna shoot for five to 10 reps, and uh, this is the weight we're gonna stay at, y'all. Three sets of five to 10 uh, on each super set. Let's get it, my set. over the lateral raises. Last set, y'all, 225 for as many reps as you can till failure, y'all. My set. That's how he pushes himself, look at them veins. Easy 10, y'all. Military presses, 225. That means our ultimate warrior, your ass. That's it, baby, for shoulders. Don't do lunges and leg extensions. We out this bitch. What are we doing here? We on to our last two workouts. Remember, the leg extensions, uh, it don't have to be real heavy. It's not really trying to show how strong you are over on leg extensions, but how tough you are because uh, it really hurts. And just going slow and controlled, you can really feel the contraction and just squeeze. <sighs> Thank you.
Burn out, y'all. I really feel the pump. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Even though he feels like he's done, he's just gonna keep doing it. He's gonna burn out the inside of it. I'm trying to get all that little juice pumped up into it. That's something I gotta learn to do. I feel like it's about to bust, y'all. Show how tough you are, though. Work through it. Right over the lunges, y'all. I'm in pain right now, so fuck y'all. Yeah. Lunges, y'all. I'm really trying to work on my form, so you know, go with me. Great work out today. We did legs, we did shoulders. We talked a little bit in the vehicle about dieting. So I hope that guys really help you and motivate you to get in the gym and get going, y'all. But our first day back with Nick it was a good day. We had a great day today, y'all. I'm gonna cap the video off at that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell, baby. We're going to see you on the next one. Let's get it. Ah.